James Graham, questions for James. How much did it help have the bye week in terms of just kind of you get a win, you get a chance to kind of reflect on that stuff and then also kind of work on your game again? Uh, it was pretty good. Got to rest my body a little more. It was in shells all week and just getting the down, down payment of what we need to get done this week versus Pitt and uh, things like that. You're going to see a lot of guys up in the box too. That'll be a little tempting for some of the things you could do. All right, it will. I'll take off a little bit and we'll see what what happens. <laughs> <laughs> what, how, I guess how much has your comfort level changed in terms of running the offense now? And has it slowed down? Is it starting to feel more natural for you? Right. It's like it's like in high school, really, and like. Starting all over from high school and like a new offense. I mean, my freshman year in high school, I, I really didn't know what was going on. I was just running around, making plays, kind of like I did the first few games. But now I really know the schemes and things the defense are doing. And I'm learning a lot and just locking in on defenses. Have you noticed the progression that the offensive line has made recently? Oh, yeah. They're, those guys are doing an amazing job. And I'm just proud of them for their progression they're making. And, uh, I talk to them a lot. I tell them what's going on. Sometimes they don't get the signal, and I'm like, I got y'all, boys. Let's go. I got you. I got you. And they like that, and I pat them on the back. If we get a sack or anything, I'm like, okay, we're good. We get it back next play, and they like that, and I just try to keep them up tempo. JP said that against Miami, it seemed like they were a different group altogether. What did you kind of see that was clicking for them? Uh, the defense wise or um, no, offensive line. Oh, uh, we just got down, got their pads down, and it was blocking real good. JP. Made a few guys miss every now and then, and those guys just blocked their butt off. And I think that practice just opened up the uh, offense for us before Miami and uh, that things like that. I guess it was satisfying to score as easily as you did in overtime, and that I guess it goes back to what the offensive line has been doing, right? As long as JP, and you know JP also. So that I mean, does that? Give you guys a lot of confidence moving forward? It does. I know team's going to try to uh, pack the box, and that's fine. We can throw it, RPO, and still run it and have a lot of reads for it, like uh, zone reads and things like that. I mean, they can throw whatever at us. Coach got me right, and uh, I'm ready for anything they throw at me. <clears throat> Jordan has a, has a real good ability, and, and Coach Hino saw it the other day, just to kind of know where defenders are coming from. And I imagine you've got a really good perspective on it. I'm curious kind of what you see when he's running the ball and, you know, being shifty like that. His ability to just see the hole and cut, make dudes miss is unbelievable. Like, I'll be watching it after I give him the ball. Sometimes I'll take off and just look back like, oh, my God, how did he do that? Like, he's have unbelievable, unbelievable vision, and uh, I just love seeing that guy run the ball. He, can, he know how to hit the hole. He know when to bounce it. And that's, that's just being a smart running back that he is. <laughs> In terms of red zone offense, that's where you guys kind of have struggled. And have missed some opportunities to put points on the board. Do you feel like you guys are close to turning the corner there, and getting out of maybe the bad luck situations or bad, you know, turn, unfortunate turnovers and those kind of things? Yeah, I believe we're ready. I mean, we have a few ups and downs in the red zone where I'll, either I drop a snap or a snap would be high, low, I'll miss the handoff, miss a read, maybe even get sat. I mean, it's all coming together as a unit and coaches getting schemes together and things all falling together. I think it was Pitt's coach that said this week that he specifically called out a Marion Brown as being a guy that they aren't actually planning for. They understand what he is as a player. Um, have you kind of seen over the past maybe two or three weeks defensive kind of change things up when he runs out there? Yeah, I mean, I would any defense coordinator, if you've seen those few games we don't played and Marion Brown, what he's capable of doing. and. If you don't put two guys on him or have a guy 15 yards off, he's going to do some trouble and make plays. And it's just him one-on-one -on -one with anyone, I don't think no one likes that. So defense is going to have to double him and uh, try to scheme their defense on him. And have JP having JP as a threat is going to have, open him up a little more. And it's going to be a great game Saturday. <clears throat> Physically, what's the adjustment been like just getting hit by this level of athlete on a regular basis and taking – Kind of the pattern you take as a quarterback, especially in an offense where you're dropping back more, and kind of t can take some bad hits, uh, like the the one on Tobias's reverse score, like where you got hit in the blind side, and that kind of thing. I mean, it's just part of the game. I have I have guys outside that are unbelievable athletes. I mean, I get it to them in the edge. They'll make a guy miss, go down, make 34 yards or more. I mean, it's exciting. It's a great asset to have. And uh, I'm just looking forward to getting those guys the ball in space and those guys doing their thing. The following through to Mario when you stepped up in the pocket, 
was like, is that really what you're trying to do with it? I mean, you had to adjust on it. What was kind of it all happened fast, but I seen that uh, defensive end coming up, and I had to—I couldn't tell if he was getting beat the tackle or not. So I just scooted up. I knew to play the coverage that we uh, practiced all week. That's the cover we had for the play, and I knew it was going to be wide open. So I just gave him a shot downfield, and he made a play. Anything else for James? Thanks, James. Appreciate all right, it. thank y'all.